Welcome back trainers. So with the newly released Gen 4 Pokemon Floatzel, it is only in raids. It was in the wild for a short time when it was released for about an hour. I do believe that was a mess up. Uh, but yes, you can only get them through the raids. And I didn't have enough candy, so I transferred some. Because I simply don't want to continue to do these raids to get enough candies to finally evolve it. And I just want to get it over with. And I also went over the amount of candies it actually needed to evolve and uh, put in a few extra so I can power it up a bit. Now I'm going to be putting in just a few Pachirishu in here just for kicks as well as the gym battles after this. So yeah, enjoy that as well. Alrighty, so here we are on the Go Hub. Let's take a look at Floatzel's stats. Now, is this gonna be something you're gonna wanna power up to replace your top tier water Pokemon? Uh, definitely not, but if you like to have a full team of unique water types, this can definitely join the ranks for sure. So yes, uh, it's going to have a max CP of 2,443, attack 221, defense 114, and stamina 198. So the stamina is looking okay, and the attack is not bad at all. Of course, it is just going to be weak to electric and grass, being a water type, resisting fire, ice, steel, and water. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at its moves to see if it can counter anything that it's weak against. Uh, and that's going to be a big negative. <laughs> Hydro Pump and Aqua Jet. Uh, so best move set's going to be probably Water Gun that's going to be charging it up. Let's see what they have here. Yeah, Water Gun. And since I have the audio muted out, I'm going to let you hear the cry of this Pokemon really quick. <laughs> yeah, so this is a very interesting Pokemon. When it does Hydro Pump, just pay attention as to where it's coming from. Uh, although... I probably should have switched to Waterfall when I was doing these gym battles, definitely for a little bit more damage. And keep in mind, it was raining, so it does have a weather boost on that. So personally, if I'm going to be attacking a gym, Water Gun is great. It does a lot of damage, quick charges up that bar fast, uh, so you can get off your charge bars. At the same time, Waterfall is just a massively strong move as a gym defender or attacker. It's not going to be as easy to dodge, but at the same time, it's not terribly hard as well. So we have Hydro Pump Swift and Aqua Jet for its charge moves. Uh, I went with Hydro Pump. I was contemplating whether or not I want to go with Aqua Jet. Probably once I'm done doing gym battles with it, which is now, <laughs> I'll, I'm going to switch it over to Aqua Jet and drop it in a gym so people can challenge it. And then it's going to actually put on some damage to them before it faints off. Hydro Pump will probably be able to get off seeing that it does have a decent amount of stamina which will allow it to stay in the fight long enough to able it to actually use that move swift is in the best it's not horrible as well you know it's doing a good amount of damage but i uh, personally i'm not going to go with that one okay so there you have its moves uh, it's not too complicated you have water and <laughs> normal type hey okay, now let's go over another water type pokemon that's going to be outperforming float soul other than vaporeon we'll go over that one in just a moment so gyarados here the only downfall for this one is it's going to be four times weak to electric type Pokemon and also rock types. And the unfortunate part for the rock types is it's water. It's going to be super effective. So if it's going up against something with rock throw and stone edge, it's going to faint a lot quicker than it should, right? So Gyarados, it's still a great Pokemon nonetheless, and its attack is higher than Floatzel's. So its max CP is going to be 3,281, attack 237. Defense 179 and stamina 190. So Gyarados, Gyarados, and it's also going to receive a Mega. I know a lot of people have a bunch of those, so it should not be a problem. Now, let's go ahead and see it's week two, electric four times, and then rock as well. Resisting ground, bug, fighting, fire, steel, and water types. All right, so let's go ahead and look at its moves to make sure it has the same ones as Floatzel to stay on par. So number one move is going to be waterfall and hydro pump. All right, and as you can see, it has a lot of legacy moves. So it's gonna have Bite and Waterfall for its current quick moves. And then for its charge move, it's gonna be Hydro Pump, Outrage, and Crunch. Outrage is just a great move to have always, no matter what. Hydro Pump is gonna be our strong water attack. And then Crunch is a great gym defender, as well as Outrage. So if you're gonna use this Pokemon Gyarados, you're probably gonna to wanna to go with Waterfall and Hydro Pump if you wanna use it as a water offensive Pokemon. You can also use it as a Dark Attacker with Bite and Crunch. Actually, a pretty good combo there as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at its legacies. And it's going to be Dragon Tail and Dragon Breath for its legacy fast moves. 
for the charge move is going to be Dragon Pulse and Twister, as you can see, all Dragon. So, Twister. A lot of people probably think that's not a great move, which is not the best, obviously, to attack for sure. But as a defender, it's not horrible. It continuously comes in. It's kind of a nuisance. Those are the kind of moves you want on your Pokemon when you're dropping them in a gym. Uh, Gyarados is something I don't regularly recommend you put in there. Although it wouldn't hurt seeing that people like to run through those gyms with the Almachamp team, you know, because of the Blissey, Snorlax, Tyranitars, all that stuff. So they just make a team of Machamps run through there. If they come across the Gyarados, it's not going to be very effective. And it could, you know, cause a little problem for them. It's not like they're not going to be able to beat it, but you know how it goes. Righty, next up is going to be Vaporeon. Now, this is a interesting situation here because the attack is lower. But the stamina is so high that it's staying in the battle longer, which is going to make it a little bit better. Uh, you can say Feraligator is going to be better than Floatzel as well. Once it receives its Community Day move, uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. But... Yeah, I mean, Floatzel's looking okay. It's not the best. It's the worst. Fan kind of type of Pokemon. So I know a lot of people are going to power it up nonetheless. Uh, personally, for me, I, I don't think so. I already had spent a good amount of investment in it. Didn't even know or realize I was going to be doing this. But I just did it anyways. Because I wanted it to be somewhat powerful when I went into the battle. So Vaporeon here, you know, it's okay. Every, everybody's got a Vaporeon. So here we go. Max EP. 3,157, attack 205, defense 177, and then stamina 260. Vaporeon is a pure water type. It's going to be weak to electric and grass, resisting fire, ice, steel, and water type. All right, so yeah, I mean, Floatzel's looking good, so don't worry about it. Vaporeon is just a tank. That's what's going on here. So quick move, just water gun, right? And then for the charge move, we have... Hydro Pump, Last Resort, which was the Community Day move. Aqua Tail, and then Water Pulse. So this is a very nice Pokemon as far as diverse moves as to what you can do with it. Hydro Pump, you're going to want to use it to attack uh, gyms and raids, right, as your water offensive Pokemon. Uh, and then you have Aqua Tail and Water Pulse, which are great gym defending moves as well. Personally, you may want to go with Aqua Tail. Very slow cooldown, so it's just going to hit those enemies and then keep on moving and maybe even spam them a couple times what's happened to me personally in this video here so uh, there you have Vaporeon okay and here you have all of my water types I pulled up so we can take a look and of course you know I mean Kyogre is going to be the best water Pokemon in the game currently and for a long time I'm pretty sure so you do have that option if you have the luxury of powering one up and I would definitely recommend that uh, make sure you don't power up more than several because you never know when they're going to release it with a signature move okay and bring it back shiny again so who knows we're still waiting on rayquaza and groudon to come into the game shiny uh anyways uh, we have empoleon here as well reaching the top charts uh well at least it's one of the pokemon that i have powered up that's water type although i do uh power up at least one type of each thing to a degree not everything but Anyways, they can learn Hydro Pump, which is pretty good, and also Waterfall, not bad at all. We went over Gyarados, and then you have Lapras, which, no, uh, is a tanky Pokemon, but n not comparing with the attack to Floatzel. Uh, then Poliwrath, definitely not comparing, and Swampert isn't either. So it's not horrible. Swampert is wooey. I really like this Pokemon, and it has a lot of potential for the future. But uh, yeah, so there you have the top tiers. It's going to be Gyarados, Vaporeon and then Kyogre, uh, right? So even Floatzel has more attack than uh, Vaporeon. So would you consider actually powering one of these up, a Floatzel? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. If you're a fan of it, yeah, I would definitely do it. Like how I am a fan of the Persian and Crobat and other random things that people don't usually power up. Although Crobat is really good. If you know how the game works, it's a very good investment. So look at this animation, man. <laughs> what? What is going on? That's so hilarious. All right, I don't know if it's always done that, but it's just, it's funny to me. I'm pretty sure it has. It's just been a while since I played this game and seen this Pokemon in action. <laughs> uh, I remember my first reaction to this when I seen it. Uh, I actually really liked it. The only sad thing about it was that it just didn't perform as good as I would have wanted it to in the main series game. So uh, I didn't use it too long, but that's okay. That doesn't take away the fact that it's still a funny design. And uh, not a bad looking Pokemon. It's got the inner tube around it. <laughs> Hence the name Float Soul. 
All right, trainers. So there you have it. Uh, just wanted to bring you this. Finally wanted to evolve it, test it out in the gyms. How did it perform? Well, I mean, it's just a water Pokemon with water gun and hydro pump with a bit of stamina on it and a decent attack. It's going to be performing a little bit better than you think it will be uh, in this video because it's going in the rain. So that's actually boosting, obviously, right? So uh, keep that in mind as well. Yours may not have performed as well as mine in this specific situation without rain. Uh, it was able to take out a massive Blissey, which was insane. So with that said, trainers, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And should you power one of these up, like we just said, it's up to you. If you like it, then I would say definitely go for it. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.